the same token, you just keep playing the same, you figure the guy's gonna start to figure it out sooner or later. So it's a bit of a dilemma here, serving for the match. Uh, this second serve is important, wants to get the accuracy. What's the pros and cons of attacking the net? I know you love this stuff. Well, I love this. Obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself well. Arthur Ashe used to tell me, cover the line. Cut off that angle so if the guy goes cross court, you can just stick your racket out. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softer to give you more time to give yourself that position. Sometimes you need to try to rip the winner to end the point. Oh, a tough Ooh. shot. Backhand down the line for a winner. Nobody's safe with those sort of serves. That's miles out. Well, he's going to have to go for something here on the second serve. This would be huge right here if he could get the break right back. Oh, oh he's got to get the focus here. This is big. Yeah, well, he's broken back in this set. It's not time to really ease up at the moment, is it, John? He's starting to play some good tennis. Great returning. Certainly huge break back there but maintain the focus as a matter of fact try to up it a little oh. bit play even harder now because usually your opponent's very upset but if he's got championship quality he's going to dig a little deeper and he's going to make you work harder now so this is a key game here even up oh he's done well to serve that eh? straight at the body Nice. He's got a brilliant backhand, another winner. And game point now. Well, a really important game, consolidating the break. Look, there's no point in getting a break if you're just going to give it back in the next game. Wouldn't you have loved to play on the courts nowadays, though? I mean, we played on the supposed bad grass. It's a lot firmer bounce. I, I would have loved to try to match up against these baseliners. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm quite happy to uh, just be just to be a serve volley. I don't know the idea. I don't like the idea of playing some of these, these big uh, baseliners. So I'm just happy to get the serve in and get on get on with the game. Well, he's taking some off that, but that's a clean ace. Oh, I mistimed that altogether. I don't know what he was doing that with that serve. Second serve. fast but there's not a whole lot to be worried about he could regroup and get right back in this set oh. he has to be focused here on this one well he's unbelievable that's a backhand winner could have killed somebody in row 13 that's a shocking serve second serve oh, he'd be disappointed with that double fault first serve
three years well, ago. Bon footing his opponent. And that's where he's unbelievably strong. I mean, from that position, to be able to hit a clean winner just shows how strong he really is. Three and one. Oh. Oh, he's hit that one a mile on bad fault. Oh, he's got to get his serve focused here. This is big. Well, you don't want too many of those in your game. They served a bad double fault there. Three on. Well, again, that thumping forehand into the backhand corner. Oh. Uh, that's a fault, just wide. Oh, this is a big point, big second serve. disappointing just a wide serve just settling in for the second serve oh what a shot forehand down the line winner five four Well, here he goes. He's got the match point. Oh. oh, dear me. What kind of serve is that? Well, here we are. Match point. Oh, that's over the match. That was a hell of a match. I think that's what we expected. Expect to see a close match. We did. It's a good effort by both players. It's too bad you have to see a loser there, but. Hi, I'm Pat Cash, alongside multi Grand Slam champion John McEnroe on the Legends of Tennis, and we're sitting here waiting for this event to start. Let's get on with it. Hey, the atmosphere is electric out there. I can't wait for this match to begin.